Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. Uh, Knock. yeah, it's fine. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too? Of course. So the evacuation has not happened yet. Not a crowd. <laughs> it's the just whole everyone's come to watch. Yeah. So much for that evacuation plan. I think it's gonna happen now, but <laughs> this seems potentially dangerous. Hey, Luna! It's me! It's me! Remember me? Oh, she's not wearing the wedding ring that I gave her. I think. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs oh, to wait. the darkness. I thought you had to wear it on your left ring finger, darkness not your right ring that evokes finger, terror. right? <laughs> Hatred That's where usually the wedding ring comes from, right? Or the wedding in the ring hearts wear, right? of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have I mean, faith. Not really making <laughs> for our gods, watch over that us. That doesn't seem like a very convincing by blessings, argument. By the stars that light the heavens above. You're a miracle worker, but I don't think you could really work with will be delivered motivating from the these people the by dark. saying, believe in God. I stand before you here in Altisha. Oh, that's some weird To call upon Leviathan. Weird. What? However. Goddess of the seas. Spirit pick up of the recording. deep. I'm not sure, but... By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. That <laughs> one guy's clapping. Oh, there we go. There we go. Everyone else is clapping now. Bless you all. Oh, that's cute. He's crying. It's good to know that she is quote unquote safe and sound. Hopefully, the audio of the cheers is not gonna glitch. Okay, good. Oh, it is gonna glitch out. Knocked. The umpire's here. I can see him. Dropships are closing in on the port. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay. Look after the citizens. We got him covered. So, it begins. Let's do this! Oh, wait. Oh. Was there a graphical glitch for a second? Wait. I need to see that. I, I thought I saw, like, a graphical glitch for a second on my recording, and I need to be absolutely sure just in case. Yeah, so far, I'm just seeing like a black screen, and that doesn't really help me whatsoever <laughs> to dictate whether or not the footage is fucked up or not. This is a very long black screen, though. Okay, there we go. Okay, it looks like the footage is safe, so it just might be my eyes playing tricks on me or something. Okay. But yeah, the ring finger, the ring is supposed to be weird on the left ring finger, isn't it? Not the right one? Unless they're being different with this one. Is it different in Japan? If you're getting, if you're getting married and you're proposed to the, uh, and wear a ring to indicate that you're married, do you write, wear it on the ring, uh, the right hand in Japan or what? Because here in America, it's the left hand. You are the ocean. Okay. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle, goddess of the seas. I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Destined to king. I do. Doctor, the Hydrian has awoken. Civilians? Oh, 
surrounded. Hurry, Lord. I'm on it. Then the rites already begun. Most likely. Time to lend the Hydra in a hand. Okay, let's do this. If I remove the combat system. Okay, yeah, I do. Well, these guys. Yeah, these guys are weak to my sword, apparently. So. What's the uh, target button? Oh shit! Get me out of that stab! Can I get out of it? There we go. Okay. Right bumper, got it. Oh, they, did they attack each other? Yeah, there's friendly fire, I think. Alright. That's that. Match deck armor. Done. Uh, where to next? Wherever the hell that area is. Except that. No, it's not a dead end, never mind. Let's do this. So far, it's so good. These guys are only level 16. So we can probably just easily do this. I'm not sure why this is recommended to be level 3 to be here. Maybe a little bit Okay. So far, so good. Or maybe it's because I'm by myself, which is could be a little bit more harder. Shit. Alright, I need to work on the shooters. Because they're gonna be hefty deal of. Snipers especially. Oh. There's that. Oh, they're all snipers? Oh no, they just saw a guy. Yeah, be careful not to die here. No time to take uh, care of my. Uh... Small potions, even if it is that small, helps. Fuck off, sniper! Is that all of them? Looks like that's all of them, alright. I can use my armor more rigor if I want to. Uh, this is definitely not good. I'm not sure I'm necessarily good with this, but I have a game thing so bad. I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. Jesus Christ. I vow, the king will prove himself worthy. Jumping. There's not. There's nothing. I can't. I'm jumping. With the running people, aren't I? There Man. we go. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Shit, where'd you get this <laughs> thing? Okay. Okay. Really, that's just a. <laughs> Holding square in case anything. This feels like it's just a cool timing bets right now, though. Hey, nice job finding this baby. Well, when I saw her, I knew we'd go places. 
Not again! Not making this easy. Not. Over the side! It's really a uh, quick time event if it's just the same fun over and over again. Juggle! Gotcha, bitch. And the other two will get any experience for this, though. It sucks. Request her power. Demand her power. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> He's not cooperating, so. Hey, your power! Give it up! I don't understand. Adopt a reasonable tone. Maintain a commanding tone. Don't you understand? I'm the king. This feels pretty. Uh, I can't understand what you're saying. Uh, whatever. Adopt a reasonable tone. Alright, fine. Fine, I'll be reasonable this time. I need your power! That's not really reasonable, that's more... That's more, uh... Kind of, uh... Desperate, if anything, but okay. I guess that's what him by a reasonable... All right, I guess we'll have to kill the bastard. <laughs> Somehow. Also, uh, Prompt is not with me anymore, so, uh, good luck to me, I guess. Level, question mark, question mark, question mark. That is totally good. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? At least that's one of the silly case. All right. <laughs> By myself? Alright then, let's figure this shit out. I'm losing stamina by a minute. Oh crap. Oh fuck, I can swim for once. Shit. Alright, how's this fight gonna work? I'm holding square, but I'm not. Nothing's happening. We have to go from an aerial perspective. Okay, I think I'm safe here. For now, at least. Shit! Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. What the oh, fuck? Prince, your bride awaits! Fucking asshole. I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all in thrall to darkness shall know peace.
you first. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Alright, where is he? There he is. Is he something to generate too? Where is he now? Is he underwater? I guess, at least. Nope, oh, there he is. Alright, I got you now, bitch. It's the wrath of whatever you call this. Oh, check. And I doubt I have this power for the long run of the game, do I? Unfortunately, now that the city's completely demolished. Do I have to go back in time for this area as well, or what? Ooh, I pressed the wrong button, but I didn't punish it. 
He's halfway done. This battle is kind of easy so far, though, so I guess the first previous round is just a survival match. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, okay, he's in the water still. Definitely, uh, definitely a different style in terms of gameplay. Almost dead. Got this. Flip his wing again. Unless this is a health bar for his wing. Jesus Christ. Slicing it up Metal Gear style. That is not blood, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I was clearly uh, definitely the offense there, without a doubt. Ooh, that boss battle took a while, but uh, we managed. But uh, it's done. game got flashy, uh, I mean, it's always been flashy, but I feel like this is, like, as flashy as it can get in terms of a video game. Are we dead yet? Noctis. Oh, this is the past. All right. I don't know, I can tell. The, C uh, the CGI usually... Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. Who would have thought? What do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? And it seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there?
would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis. Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. This was a horrible time for my nephew to like just yell out. I really gotta mute that because for the most part I was silent during that cutscene, but they made a good execution in terms of like I I do still wish that Luna Freya's character development would have been a lot better so that it would just really like tug your heartstrings that she's dead though, because for one thing, I'm not crying, but I feel like if we like get a lot more character development from her, get to know her a lot more then her death would have made like a huge, huge impact on on me, or mostly the player. But, uh... <laughs> they kind of... I, I, I did get the feeling that they kind of recopied the Ares died thing. Although it's kind of interesting because, like, the survey, I felt might have, unless it's like DLC, said that Luna Freya could be a playable character, and I'd say, huh, I'm a little bit suspicious about that. 
But uh, I think it might be just because of it, it might be just DLC or something. Who knows? But uh, yeah, that was a very powerful scene. Very well acted. Surprisingly, the kid actors were very good. And I researched this. They're actual legit kid actors. Um, but yeah, Nox's emotional like struggle, full of despair after the passing of Luna Freya. It's very emotional, and I do commend the acting amazingly for it. And the cutscene, graphic-wise, looks fucking beautiful. So yeah, that was a very heart-pounding moment. There, of course, could have been ways to make it a lot better. Like, again, like I said, the character development between uh, Noctis and Luna Freya, they could have been a lot more than just either just childhood, uh, childhood friends or uh, the notebook passing by, because I felt like they should have emphasized that a lot more. And uh, showcase, like, maybe showcase more uh, flashbacks as to what their relationships were like, because from what I've gathered, it just seems like they're just best of friends rather than, like, true lovers. God damn it, Toby, shut up. Not Toby, it's Timothy. Shut up. Uh, anyways, but, uh... <laughs> what the fucking prom? No, seriously? Like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity picture, so sure. But seriously, at a time of... Uh... It's not a good time to take a picture like that now. Why would you think of taking a picture? Okay, whatever. But, uh, yeah, that was a very powerful scene. So, uh, I'd say chapter 10. Jesus Christ, we're like five chapters away left from beating the game, I think. What was the beginning chapter in this episode? It was seven, right? I think. It was seven or eight. So, from what I'm gathering... If I keep this right up, it'll be like three recording sessions left before I beat the game. And that should take a while. But yeah, I think that's a good time to uh, stop the recording session for now. And Personally, I don't think I need to grind it out because... Well, it feels like I've been doing enough grinding, honestly, since... I do feel like I'm a little bit overpowered by now, so I should probably lay back on the grinding. But uh, I do kind of want to do more of the side quest, and uh, that's kind of a little bit iffy because, like, to my knowledge, there's no option to, like, disable the, uh, the experience gain. So, from what I've seen, I'm always going to be, like, constantly improving myself, and then again, I, do don't, I don't think the combat is that fleshed out compared to, like, Kingdom Hearts, per se. Like, it's trying, but at the same time, it's pretty standard. Like, for the most part, it's like, okay, there's element, there's attack, there's all that, and dodge. In Kingdom Hearts, it's a lot more like... The Scourge of the Stars. In Kingdom Hearts, it's a lot more like... I mean, it helps that Kingdom Hearts actually runs at 60 frames per second as well, but... Several weeks later, god damn. Where are we now? Is this a new part of town, or...? So... We're gonna roll through Tenebrae. That sucks that Not Ignis before is visiting blind, the world to Gartanica. essentially. But uh, those shades do look cool uh, on him. You're sure you're up to that? Well, those glasses is glitching a little bit. The wounds it feels like the lenses are not connected to uh... eyesight. It's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <laughs> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. Knocked! Leave him. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what? 
got into Gladios's panties. Like, I get that we're all struggling, but it seems to be that he's the more vocal about it. And I get that I am now the new king, and all this duty is, like, thrusted upon me, but still, it's still pretty early. Like, it's been weeks after the death of my fucking wife, dude. It's like, I, I'm honestly excited on Noctis at this point. Like, it is a, it's a very heavy duty, and it takes a lot of time to process. There's no reason to call me, like, a coward for it, because... I'm still learning, dude. There's no reason to, like, just lash out like that on me. Noctis is free to roam about the train until it pulls into the station. <sighs> God. I do... I mean, I still feel sorry about do what happened to Ignis. glasses help at all? I can't talk to him. Oh, that's gonna suck. I want to talk to Pro uh, to, sorry, not Prompto. Sorry, for once, I'm actually siding with Prompto on this one. Gladios, you're actually being an asshole about this. Like, I get it. The world's in fucking... Don't talk about others. Yeah, listen to your grandfather, you piece of shit. I can check. Mercy stop. Well, that's gonna come in useful if we're getting attacked. Automatic doors. Check on what? The kid watching or? The passing of the Oracle. The Oracle, Lady Lunafreya of Tenebrae, lost her life when summoning of the Hydrian went terribly awry. Lady Lunafreya was swept under the Altitian waves alongside her feet. Crown Prince Noctis of Lucius, despite falling unconscious for several days, the prince made a miraculous recovery and is still being treated. Well, thanks for reminding me about my dead wife. I do I do honestly think that a little bit of constructive criticism would wouldn't hurt in saying that they really should have improved on the, the relationship between Noctis and Lunafreya, because that would made the, this would have made like the story so much more like impactful I feel and on, on the note of constructive criticisms like I, I get that Noctis needs to be criticized but I feel like the way Gladius is pulling over is not the way to go he's forcing it rather than like letting it naturally evolve the tree of the Castanino scientists have yet to provide a sound explanation as to why the resource rich Fudina Castorino has been overrun by an enormous tree. Some experts insist, however, this floral phenomenon may have been a paranormal prelude to the awakening and annihilation of the gods. Oh joy. Yeah, the gods are not helping us at all. Much longer. Not long, dear. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I'm single now. <laughs> and uh, I see you have no father at hand. Well, would you like to talk? What am I doing? This is horrible. There's no way I could like betray. Even like if, for whatever reason, like my girlfriend died, I don't think I could honestly ever like find another woman because I. <sighs> See, you're still an asshole. But yeah, I honestly can't bring myself to find another girlfriend if my own girlfriend died because I really do love her so much and I can't. And I think like just finding another woman would just do her a disservice if I knew that. So yeah, I'll just forever be a widow, I guess. Or what? What's the male equivalent of a widow? I saw the way you were looking at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. Okay. Want to head to the dining car? So you can feast your eyes on that other girl. <sighs> Someone's jealous. I'll, I'm just hungry, is all. Although he's stuttering, so that is a little bit suspicious. I'll be waiting right here. What are you so mad about? Why would I be mad? You are awfully acting very mad right now, lady. <laughs> Just saying. Any more dialogue so I could be right on the woman and the man? Okay, look. Relationship-wise, I'm not good at this either, honestly, because, once again, like, I had many dates, many breakups, and, 
Well, currently I am with a girlfriend, which thankfully she's not horrible like my previous exes. But uh, just a word of advice for any relationship. Don't be jealous. I, I've definitely had to learn that a hard, hard way because, like, with my current girlfriend, I used to be jealous with the fact that she hangs out with a lot of her guy friends. And, uh, yeah, that kind of made me uh, feel like I was, like, like just berating her. And that's very an awful thing. The, the worst thing you can do to a relationship is to not trust someone. And I had to really learn that the hard way because she was very, like... It, it's, it's, I'm very glad that uh, my girlfriend, Emily, she was very uh, patient about it and understanding about the situation. And, uh, thankfully, I, I was able to uh, talk to her guy friends about this situation as well, and they were able to understand it. The, th the key thing about, uh, communication is that you need to actually do it. Otherwise, you're just left at a stalemate where just these two arguing, bickering couples would just constantly have, like, an unhealthy relationship and eventually lead up to a breakup. That's why I feel communication is best for... No! I wanted to... Oh, damn it. I was wasting my time fucking talking about these two bitches. Fuck. But anyways, yeah, really, a key to a relationship is definitely communication. And I feel the more you two communicate, the more open both of you guys will be, and the less secrets there, the less secrets there will be attained. So yeah, uh, all four of them are still at a party. Hand to the king. I'm gonna this alone, even though I still have other party members with me. Yeah, These boys are heading into the mine. Entirely. You best go prepared. Hold on, is this a better weapon for me? I already have a thunderbolt. I could give uh, Ignis this, assuming he's still able to do set, do, do some stuff. Oh, this is also equally as tempting as well. Although, I have to make sure I don't spend too much money. Ooh, this should be perfect for our prompto. Girl shield. I don't even know if I want... Gladio kind of pissed me off a little bit. He's taking things... I know things are meant to be taken seriously, especially this predicament. But just the way that I feel about him right now just... Kind of irks me a little bit. I just... Uh... It's a growing pain kind of thing, and I do wish that me and Pro m me and uh, Gladios will be able to retain our relationship because so far I'm fucking complimenting Prompto over Gladios. That should not be the norm. <laughs> it's kind of weird in a way, but like, yeah, okay. Let me sell some things just in case so that I get more money. Uh, treasures. I want to sell my repair kit. Gemstone, perfect. And I do realize it is almost 45 minutes until, uh, overboard, uh, for this episode. So I guess right now it should be a good time to take a quick break after I sell all my shit. So, we'll be right back with the next episode of Final Fantasy XV. Come back again. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen.